Hey, welcome back to the Cooking with Artist show. Today, we're going to bring you some fall dishes. Uh, acorn squash. You know, squash is in season right now. And so we want to bring some squash. And squash has so many benefits that's going to help you through the winter. It's loaded with uh, vitamin A and vitamin C, and uh, which is very good. You know, a lot of times we uh, are what you call a taste bud driven society and we want to get away from that we want to start training our taste buds to eat things that are going to be beneficial to the upbuilding and the nourishment of our bodies and i'm determined to bring to you some dishes that is going to do just that and acorn squash is in season and that's one of those things that have plenty of vitamin a and plenty of vitamin c and, uh, and it tastes very good. You know, there's a number of ways that you can do squash, but we're going to do it a specific way today. And, uh, and also, we're going to bring to you some cod. And it's a crusted cod fish that is baked uh, in a different way. So uh, come on and go with me into the kitchen, and uh, let's knock this out the park. Okay, today on Cooking with Artists, we're going to be working with a squash. This is what you call an acorn squash. And a lot of people, they don't like squash for some reason or another. But we're going to cook this in a way that hopefully you would love it. Okay. So we're going to cut the squash open, you know. So get a nice sharp knife because squash is kind of hard, you know. But we cut right through the squash. Uh, you know, be careful you don't cut your fingers because this squash is kind of hard here. So, well, let's do this. Let's open this baby. And then as you open it, you'll see you got seeds in there, you know. So, what I'm going to do is take all of these seeds out and, um, and then we're going to move further. Is that okay? Okay, we're going to scrape all the seeds out. Take a spoon or whatever. Seeds easy to remove. And uh, almost like a pumpkin, you know. And uh, I love acorn squash. Also love your uh, butternut squash. Uh, I love mostly all the squash, you know, but uh, you take all your seeds out of it, as you can see. And some people, what they do, they uh, roast the seeds and eat them like pumpkin seeds, you know. Put them in a pan and roast them, you know. And then you can also plant these seeds and uh, they will grow again, you know. So, just scraping all, oops, all the seeds out. Yeah. So, just a little, little job here, you know. But, it's going to be worth it once you, you know, season it in our special way. So, we're cutting all the seeds out of here, you know. And so, scraping them really good, scraping all those veins, I call them, out, you know? Yep. And uh, then we'll move on a little further, okay? After we scrape the seeds out. Okay, we got all our seeds out of the acorn squash, and now what I'm going to do is punch some holes in it you know like you know like so you know acorn squash has vitamin A a lot of vitamin A which is your beta carotene and also it has vitamin C and also it has iron so it is a good source of vitamins you know and as I stated, we want to uh, uh, deal with 
things that are going to make you feel better opposed to eating a lot of things that have no nutritional value this has value it is you know packed with beta carotene and uh, as I say vitamin C especially the winter month you know vitamin C is very good around the winter time you know to help boost the immune system you know to keep you from having all these colds and flu and what have you so acorn squash has a lot of beta carotene and uh, uh, vitamin C and iron so 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 what I did I punched some holes in it and so what I'm going to do next is uh, sprinkle some brown sugar all on it you know you know sprinkle brown sugar liberally on it you know and uh, sprinkle my brown sugar all over it yep yep and we got our oven at uh, 350 degrees and so also what I'm going to do also is add some butter on it too as well you know all this yummy all this delectable yumminess and then we're going to add some cinnamon oh cinnamon cinnamon is very good for sugar you know you have you that is dealing with sugar you know cinnamon okay and what I'm going to do also is add a little tang so I cut up a fresh lemon and squeeze the juice so got some juice of a lemon in here and we're gonna let this stuff we're gonna let this thing bake and I tell you what when we take it out of the oven it's going to be delicious okay so um we're gonna put it in the oven and like I said we're gonna put it in a 350 degree oven and we're gonna watch it bake okay okay our acorn squash has finished cooking and as you can see it's soft and that's what you want it to be soft sweet oh and the taste is just unbelievable so this may be something that you may want to add to your dish this fall all right enjoy okay today we'll be cooking some cod fish and we're going to bake it okay we're gonna bake it with a crust okay so here we have two pieces of cod that you know we done washed up in and what we're going to do first of all we're going to take two tablespoons of butter and melt it in the microwave all right first thing okay what I have here is some chopped onions chopped onions green onions chopped onions and also I have some lemon juice that I squeezed from the lemon and also I have some crackers um, crackers that I've crunched up buttery crackers that I put in the bag and crunched up because this is going to be my crust on my fish so what I'm doing now I've got two tablespoons of butter melting okay I've got two tablespoons of butter okay here's my melted butter that I have in a pan and what I'm going to do is take my codfish and I'm going to just make sure it gets buttery all on both sides you know and then make sure it gets buttered really good on both sides and what I'm going to do next is put my seasoning on it and I'm gonna put it in a, a 400 degree oven and let it cook for 10 minutes I'm putting garlic powder on it paprika you know black pepper crushed black pepper and my salt of course you know and what I'm going to do is you know get that 
and then what I'm going to do next is put it in a 400 degree oven okay and let it cook for 10 minutes so I have my crunched up round crackers then I'm gonna take my melted butter and make switch it around in there so it'll stick to my fish when I put it on my fish you know and uh, my fish have been cooking in the oven for about 10 minutes and so what we're going to do next we're going to take our fish out okay I have my fish that have been cooking for about 10 minutes so I've taken it out of the oven so what I'm going to do now is take some white wine and sprinkle white wine on it you know and also some lemon juice you know some lemon juice and then what I'm going to do is take my battered my crackers that I buttered and uh, take that and place it on top of my fish here you know and what I'm going to do next is turn it over so I can get it on the other side turn it over so I can batter the other side of it so I've turned it over and I'm battered it on the other side so I'm gonna take a little of my onions and sprinkle on them you know and uh, got the batter on it maybe add a little paprika on top of that you know come on out paprika a little bit more seasoning uh, garlic powder mm. and of course our salt a little salt you know and uh, our um, black pepper as well and we're gonna put it in back into the oven 400 degree oven and cook for another 10 minutes all right okay we have taken our baked cod out of the oven and what I'm going to do is take a little sprinkles of green onions, little lemon wedges, little thin lemon wedges, you know, throw on there, you know, little thin lemon wedges, and more green little green onions. Okay, that's our cod dish, you know different way of cooking fish so that's what our cod look like all right enjoy okay our crusted cod is finished we have it with a side order of cream style corn and a salad two little lemon wedges on top of it and this is baked cod crusted. All right, this is Cooking with Artists. Check me out each week for great recipes that will knock your socks off. You have a blessed and wonderful day. Hey, thank you for joining me today in our um, cooking squash today, acorn squash. There are a number of squash, but we did acorn today and also our cotted crusted fish so um uh, i want you to stay tuned because uh what i want to do is uh bring to you points of power as i stated last week and uh what i'm going to be bringing to you is some uh things that's going to help you in your body and i want you to increment turmeric remember that turmeric that's a spice and i know a lot of people when they taste turmeric they don't like the taste of turmeric you know, it has that kind of tangy taste, but I want you to start using it because the benefits outweigh the taste. And turmeric is good. Uh, it's found in a lot of your Indian culture. You know, they use a lot of turmeric in the Indian culture, you know, and, uh, and, and it has been shown that Indians as a whole, they have a very low rate of all timers. We as Americans, 
We are taste-driven people, and, and we eat so many things that have no nutritional value, you know, and, uh, and, and subsequently, it's jacking us up. We're, we're sickly people, and we want to change that because through diet, through the things that you eat, it can make you healthy, and that's what we want to do, and that's what I'm determined to bring to you. Each week, I want to bring something that's going to be beneficial to your body, and turmeric. I want you to look up turmeric. And look up all the benefits that turmeric does for the body. And you can use turmeric on meats, on uh, rice, uh, in a whole lot of your dishes. So uh, remember that turmeric is the uh, kicker for today. Is our point of power for today. Turmeric. And I want you all to start increment turmeric in your cooking. And uh, in the future we're going to be cooking things that we put turmeric in. Uh, believe it or not, the last week, the week ago, when we had the uh, cabbage. We had turmeric in the cabbage. So I want you to start looking at turmeric. Google it. You know, we're living in a day and time that you can Google a lot of things. Google turmeric and see all the benefits of turmeric. And uh, thank you for joining me today. And next week we're going to bring another point of power. But turmeric is going to be the point of power today. Remember that spice. It's a spice. Remember that. And I want you to increment that in your, your cooking. And I want to hear from you. And I want to hear about you adding turmeric into your dishes. All right, you have a blessed and wonderful week. Thank you.